Tom Holland as Link is trending on Twitter. Tom Holland as Link in a Zelda movie. Are they doing live action for it? Or are they going the Nintendo, I mean, the, I mean the Mario, Mario style. They're going live action? Don't do Tom Holland, bro. It's, it's unbelievable. I won't think of Link. I'll think of fucking Tom Holland. I think of Spider-Man, bro. Get Linkus to do it, <laughs> ironically. Honestly, get somebody unknown. What happened to that? Find a good, there's gotta be an unknown actor out there. Clint Stevens. <laughs> You guys know the spoon story? <laughs> That's just the trailer. The trailer is him telling the full spoon story, start to finish, this summer. I don't agree that it should be anybody we know. It should just be somebody who looks kind of like Link, who's unknown. Or somebody who is known, but truly fucking wants it. Like, uh, what's his name? The Witcher guy, Henry Cavill. If it's, if it's fucking Cavill with how much he loved the Witcher, find somebody like that for Link. No, I don't think Henry Cavill should play Link. I'm saying someone like that. Someone like who is a well-known entity, but really loves this property. I said not Henry Cavill is Link. Stop saying that I said that. That's not what I said. I'm not saying buff Link. I'm not saying big fucking Rick. The Rock is Link, bro. I'll accept The Rock as Link, but only if we get Kevin Hart as Tingle. <laughs> this might be the comedy and family-friendly adventure of the summer. Dave Bautista as Ganon would go so fucking hard. Yeah, maybe. I would love that movie to, I mean, I know Nintendo's not gonna do this because they fucking made a billion dollars by getting every expected actor for Mario. <laughs> they literally went down the list of like who America likes right now and got the whole fucking, and they're gonna do the same thing for Zelda. I would love if every actor was unknown in the whole Zelda movie. That'd be sick. If it was nobody you recognize, they let the fucking chess speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? Do not please have Jack Black in it. Just because Jack Black is a well-liked actor does not mean we need to put him in every movie. You stop clapping like seals for things you like. <laughs> it's annoying, bro. Jack Black? I love Jack Black. Let's put him in fucking Zelda. Let's put him in the <laughs> Schindler's List 2. No, it's Jack Black and Oppenheimer. Yeah, exactly. Let's have Jack Black be an Oppenheimer. <laughs> Actually, unironically, Jack Black as Einstein. You know what I'm saying? Give him the wig. That could be hype. That could be hype. Uh, wasn't everyone in Oppenheimer? Yes, I know. That's the point. That's my problem. Okay. With AI, we could put JB in everything. I did hear, this is, this is from my trainer at my gym. So take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> I don't know what his sources was, but he said the studios were trying to pay the estate of dead actors for permanent likeness rights. So like they could go to Robin Williams estate, pay them a, a chunk of money and then have permanent rights to just make Robin Williams movies, which I mean, in theory is of course something they would do, but I haven't actually seen hard evidence of that. But uh, yeah, we completely fucked up, completely fucked up. Robin Williams named his daughter Zelda. We all know that. Like <laughs> that's, that is such a well-known fact, but also unrelated. It's like, <laughs> Well, I brought up a topic about studios trying to revive dead actors likenesses and you just said the one thing that your brain thought of around Robin Williams. <laughs> this is a factoid. It's like if I said uh, there's 12 million stars in our galaxy and you go, the sun is hot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's cool. Anything else to add or like what? What <laughs> is true, it's not necessarily relevant. Did you know Aragorn broke his toe? <laughs> <laughs> That's the classic, dude. Did you know that Aragorn broke his toe in that one scene? People love that one. What's the other one? They love um, Tom Cruise actually hurt his leg when jumping across the roof. Christopher Nolan made money on the corn. <laughs> George Bush threw out the first pitch after 9-11. Yeah, Leo cut his hand in Jiggle and Chain. Yes. Do you see? We all know all these facts. I just want you guys to know every time you share this, everyone knows it already. We're in the internet age. The dog in Airbud actually learned how to play basketball. That's just not true. I don't need to look it up. I'm just well aware that a golden retriever did not learn how to play basketball. No, it's not true. What you guys are trying to do is get me to Google it. And then it'll say, no, unfortunately, Buddy did not learn how to play basketball, but he still had a great time on set. And then you're going to go, we got you. We told you to look it up. Ha, you look it up. I'm not looking it up. I'm not looking it up. I'm not going to Google it. He didn't because gold receivers can't play basketball. And I know that I sound like the referee from the movie Air Bud. Hey, man, hey, you look like, <laughs> I'm here in cosplay. Well, no, this is like you look Air like Air. like one of the villains in Hunger Games or something. Oh, that's cool. No, it's the undersuit for the Jedi Revan. Oh, uh, it's the Jedi Revan. Yeah, they, oh, ask about Air Bud. Do you think the, Air, the dog from Air Bud actually played basketball? 
Yeah. Why do you think? Wait, that? are you you asking if he was in the NBA? No, I think like could he hit the ball into the? You think it was CGI? Yeah. No, it was very real. The first air by a hundred percent. That dog was trained. No way. But what? Yeah, look it up. <laughs> Like, obviously, there's probably some tricks, but, like, the well, dog... Well, no, you probably some tricks. No, there, there's definitely some tricks, because a dog can't play basketball. I'm saying if you... You're turning me into the referee from the movie. Wait, if you a throw, dog can't play basketball. You throw the ball. Well, the dog, in the rule book. Like, hit it with its snout, and maybe it can make the basket. No, they have to cut it. I, I, if you chuck a basketball oh, at a dog, saying, okay. they can hit it on their snout. But there's not gonna go in the hoop. <laughs> okay, that, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, it's not gonna go in the hoop. All right. If you show me a zoomed out, uncut video of a dog, a golden retriever, hitting a basketball into a hoop, then I will call it playing basketball. Air Bud, the dog that plays hockey, football, and basketball in 1993. Last year, and we're going to have Air Bud sink, sink some baskets too here. And that's a 10 foot rim. Last year, Air Bud was making layups. This year, he's making about 15 feet. A 10 foot rim? It's not regulation. You're not playing basketball on this fucking little tyke's rim. Also, a 10 foot is regulation. Oh, it's Trick. not 10 foot. He found wide. a football <laughs> in the bushes, brought it up. To Why are you getting that otherwise? <laughs> so, I mean, he, he goes off on the snap count. Oh, nice. Hey, that's a clean play. It's like a, a winning touchdown That's a drive. clean play. And you've got a movie coming up, apparently. Is that well, it? Well, we've got a project we're putting together right now. It's in the writing stages. It'll be an inspirational kids movie about a boy and a dog. And, and, uh, and the dog plays football, also plays hockey, too. You yes. guys had... Wait, this is, this is before Air Bud? Wait, this is before the movie. This dog was famous independently. <laughs> How do all of you guys know this? <laughs> <laughs> this is an old fucking movie. What? Air, well, you guys were on Porn 2004. You know the fucking Air Bud story? Now, get the basketball, and yeah. let's see if we can have Air Bud uh, make a... Now, take last a year when we Finally. did this... All right, let's see. The, the ball wasn't I I inflated wait, wait, properly, and it took wait. us a little time to get it. Let's see if Air Bud now inflation. can do it. Yeah. You know, he, uh, buddy, he's a little distracted because of the football, buddy. There's no and way. Air Bud, don't break the lights. No, no, absolutely not. Uh, he sank his 13,000th basket a couple weeks ago in New York. Excuse 13, me. 13,000. It, it did take... Thank you very much. <laughs> 13,000. But uh, it really does show what kind of... Um, Todd, it shows you what kind of determination he has. When we first started this about, oh, three and a half years ago, he was just interested he's in playing along broad with numbers. Me. It took four months <laughs> and about 6,000 attempts to actually sink a single basket. So, so it says a lot about not giving up. All right. Anyway, so shall we try and sink sure. one? Sure, yeah, I'll see ya. Okay. Look, buddy, let's look at our target here. Well, you're good, Kevin. Watch, buddy. Okay. Does it count? Come Does it count? Right down the center. Up. Look yeah. at that. Right off the bat. Nice one. Nice Let's change his angle. Come here, buddy. <laughs> All right. All right, admit it. You got me. Okay. All right? <laughs> you got me. Okay? I was wrong. I didn't like, know there was a dog out there that put up LeBron numbers. You can blow it. <laughs> <laughs> that drops 13K shots. They practice with that dog 6,000 times to get a single shot. Copium. I don't get it. I don't understand. Copium. <laughs> it's not copium. I admit it. I admit it, dude. I was wrong. Okay? And that's what makes me, if anything, smarter. I guess what the real follow-up question is, and I hate to be that guy, but that dog's clearly dead, given the time. And that guy was clearly making good money hustling around the country with his dog. Is there an opening? I'm just, I'm asking a simple question. Could we all collectively buy a golden or a team of goldens, train them, and then start our own Air Buddies style team we make it a TikTok thing. We're making, we're minting money. Do you think Air Bud and the Taco Bell dog are now in heaven together? Yes, I do. No, I do, sincerely. I do, good question. Thank you for your sincere question, I do. Did you know that Jaws wasn't a real shark? I did know that, and I also got to see this Jaws shark model while on the back lot of Universal while I was doing that fun day interview with Riot. And I remember me, dressed head to toe in my Riot World Champion sweater, <laughs> looking at the fucking Jaws shark and trying to make conversation with this fucking, you know, mid thirties Riot Games art director about how much I fucking loved fucking fizz. <laughs> did you know the 2020 election was stolen? <laughs> no, I did not know that.